Well, it's time once again to take you behind the scenes of Eyewitness News. We pull back the curtain tonight and show how we do it. <laughs> Dr. George joins us to continue his special report with a look at how the station covers breaking stories. This is the best part of all, this I think. This is the best yeah. part. Well, outside of sports and weather, which comes on well, Friday. That's also good. But, <laughs> and in the television news business, we cover a lot of stories on a variety of topics. But nothing is more important than getting major news to you as quickly as possible. Now, what you never see is what our crews and reporters go through to cover a breaking story. That is, until now. But on any given day, breaking news always has first priority. Now, for example, one day my cameraman and the producer for this series were on their way to a truck explosion in Santa Monica Freeway. Okay, stay behind the first ambulance. You'll see some other vehicles and things like that. Okay, there'll be some officers direct you in. Just go in slow, okay? They had planned to show you how our news crews cover breaking stories. But as it turned out, they were the only ones there. And so this series had to take a back seat to the breaking news. When reporter Mark Brown and the crews arrived on the scene, well, we'll show you what happened. You know, it took us so long to get here because they would not allow us to come up on any ramp here at all. Yeah. We, we passed under the freeway, we've gone back this way, we've gone all the way around to try to get back on the other side. Then we see you going up Pico, and it's like, what is this? It was unbelievable. By the time we pulled up to this story, we were very close to our on-air slot. Yes, I'm here at the uh, accident scene and would like to set up a signal. When I was setting up a signal, I put the mast up in the air it is a 40-foot mast that extends out of a shaft inside the truck. And this is so we can go live. And on this particular day, I set up to Mount Wilson. Okay, I'm going to pan. Okay. There is a person back in transmission who is accepting the signal. I did not see you at uh, Santiago at all. Um, let's see if we can get it to Wilson. All right, no, no. we got to move the truck. They're going to open up the number one and two lanes. We were getting ready to go live, and they wanted us to move to the opposite side of the freeway. And so we had to physically move all the equipment uh, that we had just set up about 30 seconds before air. You got a picture there, I got, a picture. I got uh, audio. an audio check. OK, we'll cut separate tapes. That'll make it easier. All right. Give me a fire for about 15 seconds. And um, if I need to, I will get back to you. I'm going to power down now. Uh, just for your information, uh, United Pumping does not have a compressed gas. Uh, that's what you're dealing with down there. Can we all get some trickle? What are you trying to tell us? You know, I, I can move him. Uh, turn, uh, turn up the IFB. The IFB is an interrupt frequency broadcast from the studio which gives us off-air. It also gives us the, uh, the studio where the, uh, the AD interrupts, giving us cues. I still can't hear you guys. Could you somebody say something, please? Now, 13 minutes. And, uh, everything that I had ordered cut is going to be used on the fire. No, they'll have something for you. Being in the truck, I have communication with the studio that uh, the people who are outside the truck and getting ready for the remote don't have. So I have to give them information. Uh, from Walter's They're going to uh, give him some uh, shots of the fire and traffic. This specific assignment created problems because we had to move camera locations four different times, which creates a, a tremendous problem when you're working um, with a deadline. Well, can we get real close to the thing then and just switch around? If I move one more time, Mark, I'm going to pull your mustache out by each little hair. Uh, the tanks are unstable in the condition that they're in now, and we are waiting for a professional cleanup crew to come out here and, and to put the tanks into a neutral condition. Recapping our top story at this hour, the I-10 freeway in Santa Monica is backed up for miles in both directions. This following a fiery gas explosion near Sentinella Avenue. Channel 7's Mark Brown is standing by at the scene with his live report. How does it look out there, Mark? Well, we have some good news to report now. What kind of danger was traffic in the people who were driving by at that point? Uh, the people that were driving by were in quite a bit of danger at that time. There was uh, explosions. There was Mark Brown, reporting live. Now back to you. Mark, we'll get back to you in just a bit. As we push on here, the Bolivian government is Thanks. Thanks. Right now, 
We're doing it at the top of this segment. It's got to come now. Tomorrow we'll go back into the newsroom and show you how videotape is transformed into a new story by editors and writers. And we'll take you where the excitement really happens, into the control room while Eyewitness News is on the air. Uh, but, that, <laughs> but that's not all. On Friday, you'll have a chance to see what our sports and weather people are really like. And you just might be surprised. What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> you just showed us the most interesting and exciting part of this yeah, business. That it's is the true. best. That is it's the best. And, and maybe by watching this, I hope that people will have more of an understanding about what we do and how the finished product finally gets there. Yep. That's the idea, isn't it? Isn't yes, it, it is. Yes, it, it is. It sure is. And get the information. Thank you, George. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Yes, indeed. In the meantime, the news continues at 6 o'clock with Harold and Tawny. <laughs>